So there are basically three key differences between the microscopic polyangiitis and the Wegener granulomatosis, which is currently called granulomatosis with polyangiitis. Now, before I go into the differences, what are the similarities? Both of them, they are vasculitis. They are the inflammation of the blood vessel wall. Both of them, they are small vessel vasculitis. They involve the small size blood vessels. Both of them, they are unca mediated small vessel vasculitis. That means this inflammation of the small blood vessel is basically caused by some autoantibody production, which are called, these autoantibodies, IgG autoantibodies are called anti neutrophilic cytoplasmic antibodies. Now, what are the differences? Difference number one, both of them, they are unca mediated, but usually the Wegener, or GPA, they are typically associated with C anka, or anka against the protein H3, more commonly. On the other side, microscopic polyangiitis, they are more commonly associated with the P anka. P anka means anka against the myeloperoxidase. Second important difference is this that upper respiratory tract involvement is typically not seen in the microscopic polyangiitis. That is typically or commonly seen in the Wegener granulomatosis. It present with sinusitis, uh, it also involves with the nasopharynx. But this features the upper respiratory tract involvement is not seen in the microscopic polyangiitis. Third important difference is this that granuloma formation would be more commonly seen in granulomatosis with polyangiitis. The name tells you, but not in the microscopic polyangiitis. Because granulomatosis with polyangiitis, if you do biopsy, what you'd be getting? There will be seen the biopsy features of granuloma formation. The name tells you that the name is Wegener, the Wegener granulomatosis current name is granulomatosis with polyangiitis. So the name tells you there's a granuloma there. But the granular formation is not seen typically in the microscopic polyangiitis. So these are the three key differences between the microscopic polyangiitis and the Wegener granulomatosis. Now, microscopic polyangiitis sometimes can be also confused with polyarteritis nodosa. What are the key differences? The difference is this, that in polyarteritis nodosa is basically a medium-sized vessel vasculitis. They spare the small-sized blood vessel. On the contrary, microscopic polyangiitis is typically a blood vessel vasculitis which involves a small size blood vessel and next important aspect is this that pan usually do not cause glomerulonephritis they spare the glomeruli on the other side the microscopic polyangiitis typically causes rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis rpgn if you read rpgn there are type 1 type 2 type 3 this typically causes type 3 rpgn this is another important feature so these are the things you need to keep in mind about the microscopic polyangiitis, which is an anca-mediated small vessel vasculitis. Thank you so much.